Sitting atop a rolling hillside, straight up a popular Tulsa side street, you'll chance upon a bronze minstrel dancing happily while playing a lively flute. You'll find this trouble-free troubadour cavorting just outside one of the most iconic and distinguished structures in all of Oklahoma. Welcome to another chapter of Loyal TV and welcome inside the historic Harwelden Mansion, a manor once at the center of the city and now a site central to the state's history. When people think of Oklahoma, they conjure images of twisters and dust bowls, most certainly not visions of Gothic architecture. But early last century, Tulsa experienced an economic boom through the discovery of oil in 1901. In 1923, a homegrown Tulsan, who was a successful oil man and noted philanthropist, built an English Tudor collegiate Gothic estate in the heart of his city. Earl Palmer Harwell, along with his wife Mary, named the building Harwelden, a Welsh word which literally means place from which the Harwells came. The beautiful structure was designed, then constructed by the White & White architectural firm from Kansas City, complete with plaster ornamented ceiling and oriental carpets and magnificent furnishings. The mansion would tower four stories and span 15,000 square feet. The grounds also included a carriage house and opulent gardens that in total occupied a full city block, all located on what was once called Black Gold Row, when Tulsa was known as the oil capital of the world. For more than four decades, Harwelden was a family home, known far beyond state borders for the quality and beauty of its construction. Following the deaths of Harwell in 1950 and Mary's passing in 1967, the mansion was donated to the Arts and Humanities Council of Tulsa. The next several years saw the mansion transform into the heart of Tulsa's arts scene, at one time hosting both the Tulsa Ballet and Philharmonic. And in February of 1978, Harwelden was added to the National Register of Historic Places. In 2019, the mansion was purchased by Teresa Knox and her husband, Ivan Acosta. Knox, a longtime Tulsan like Earl Harwell, had the same passion for preserving history. So Harwelden was renovated and restored, becoming an event center and boutique hotel with its spectacular stained glass, stunning staircase, and breathtaking gardens, as well as proper afternoon teas. Next time you're winding along the scenic Riverside Drive, just north of Tulsa's exceptional new gathering place, take a look to the east and take in the view of Tulsa's greatest architectural treasure, the Harwelden. Join us next time for more of the best Oklahoma stories you haven't heard right here on Loyal TV.